Welcome to the Baltimore Region Market Watch, brought to you by Real Estate Business Intelligence and MRIS Company. Let's take a look at the most recent activity in the Baltimore Region housing market, which includes these areas. Nationally, new home sales improved relative to both last month and last year. However, existing home sales and pending home sales remained lower than both last month and last year. New housing starts were higher than 2013 for every summer month and added to the second quarter GDP increase of 4.6%, a higher level than initially reported. The Baltimore metro region had improved buyer activity in September. Closed sales increased 4.4% from last year to 2,514 closed sales. This is the highest September level since 2006. New pending contracts also increased from last September, rising 5.9% to a total of 2,810. Seller activity also increased and inventory continued to rise. There were 14,460 active listings at the end of September, 24.6% more than last year. Inventory has now increased from the prior year for 12 consecutive months, bringing it to its highest total in nearly three years. New listings also increased, rising 19% from last year to 4,692 and marking the 18th month of increases in a row. At $244,700, the median sale price decreased 0.1% from last September. The median sale price for condo properties was unchanged, while single-family homes and townhomes had declines. The median days on market for the region is now 44 days, 9 days more than this time last year, but lower than the 10-year September average of 53 days. The Baltimore metro region's housing market performed better than last year by most metrics. Closed sales, pending sales, and inventory were all above their year-ago levels. The median sale price decreased modestly, but remained higher than the September levels in 2009 and 2012. That's the Baltimore Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the latest.